In this session, we are going to talk about how to write the discussion section in a research paper or a thesis. Now, there are multiple points that must be taken into account. You should start with summarizing your main findings of the research. Now, what do we mean by summarizing the main findings? Now, briefly identify the rationale behind the study. Now, summarize the key results of your study. What will happen is, this will help to provide a context for the rest of the discussion section. So the first paragraph should be based on what is the rationale behind your study and summarize the overall results. Now, as an example, I've got this here. The research examines the impact of USR, that is university social responsibility on university performance through the mediating role of service quality, student satisfaction, university reputation, and student trust. Now, this is the rationale behind the study, the overall purpose of the study. Now, overall findings reveal a positive and significant influence of USR on UP. The outcome supports a Forent and Silka 2006 idea that through USR activities, universities can improve their performance as well as the operational efficiency. So your first paragraph will be an overview highlighting the purpose of your study. Next up, you describe, compare and contrast your findings with those of the previous studies. Now, step by step, provide detail of whether or not a particular hypothesis was significant or insignificant. And with that, describe, compare and contrast your findings with the previous studies. Now, this comparison of findings with those of other studies in your field will help to put findings in context and to highlight any similarities or differences between your study and those that have been done previously. Now, here is an example. The study found a significant impact of USR on the proposed mediators, including service quality, student satisfaction, university reputation, and student trust. Now, results support. Here, you will have to highlight with reference as to what studies have been in line with the findings that you got. So if you found significant results, have there been any other studies that found significant results? And if so, you should write it like this. Results support Vasquez and others 2014 notion that focusing on USR can improve service quality and student satisfaction. What if there is no research previously, empirical research? Then you should highlight that your findings support existing literature, existing opinion, existing theory. Moving on, discuss how your findings in light of existing theory. Now you have to discuss your findings in light of the theory as well. Now it is very important because this will further highlight the role of theory in explaining the relationship and make your research more critical. So what you have to do is you have to explain your findings that align with the theory you use to build your hypothesis and how they contribute to existing body of knowledge in your field. Now, for example, stakeholder theory suggests that the findings could be explained by the fact that students are the primary stakeholders for whom the university is responsible. As a result, universities know that their activities have an, have an impact on students and their recognition could considerably aid universities in focusing on enhancing service quality and increasing customer satisfaction. Now, this theory here, stakeholder theory, is explaining this relationship where USR was found to have a significant impact on the mediators, that is service quality, student satisfaction, university reputation, and student trust. So how does the theory help in explaining this relationship? This is how you can describe that how a particular theory explains the relationship and which theory is being supported by these results. Now, based on the managerial perspective of stakeholder theory, the findings provide evidence that increasing the intensity of SR may improve reputation and trust. Moving on. Now, you have to explain the reasons in light of the theory. For example, 
In light of RBV, that is resource based view, organizations that have such differentiating features and resources have improved performance as the assets and resources help HEIs capitalize on market and become the preferred choice among students. Now, this theory is explaining the significance of a relationship between university social responsibility and organizational performance. So university social responsibility is a resource. So if a university is socially responsible, this differentiates that university from other universities. And it is a differentiating feature, so it becomes a resource. And when you have got such resources, it will increase or improve your organizational performance. Now, here is another example from another paper. This finding aligns with social identity theory. So if you are finding aligns or contradict an existing theory, you can use wording like this, which supports the arguments that customers may affiliate themselves with companies that affect their social identity. Hence, when customers evaluate their choice of hotels, they may give significant attention to CSR. So I value CSR. So if you value CSR and your hotels where you stay value CSR as well. So you start to identify yourself with that particular organization. So there is an impact of CSR on organizational identity. Now you can describe or explain the reasons for significance based on general literature as well, apart from theory as well, but it is strongly recommended to describe the reasons based on both general literature and specific theories if you are using one. Additionally, practicing USR in education, research and internal and external management of the university can work as a marketing strategy and enhance the university reputation. So this is the reason for the significance of relationship between USR and reputation. You can use both theory and general literature. Now, by theory, I mean specific theory like stakeholder theory, social identity theory. CSR was found to have a significant impact on service quality and satisfaction. Now, in light of stakeholder theory, findings might be explained. Now, I'm explaining these results in light of stakeholder theory by the fact that customers are the key stakeholders to whom the hotels hold responsibility. Therefore, companies recognize that customers are affected by their practices since the customers are stakeholders and they are affected by the practices and this recognition could significantly help hotels improve their service quality and lead to improve customer satisfaction. Now, this stakeholder theory has already been explained in the introduction briefly and in the literature review in detail. So, when a reader is reading the paper, he knows the context as well. So you do not need to describe everything again in your discussion. 